Good morning. I'm Maggie Kunze. I um, am going to talk about container gardening, one of my fun favorite things to do. I am always thinking that annuals are God's way of showing that we have instant gratification and instant color. Um, the problem with perennials is there's usually an early spring bloomer, midsummer, and then fall blooming perennials, whereas annuals bloom all summer long, most of them, and unless they're pansies, which when it gets hot, they will um, just kind of poop out on you and uh, uh, go away until it's cooler again in the fall. So we're going to talk about a few things this morning. I've got a beautiful pot from Fossil Creek that um, what I call <laughs> thrillers, fillers, and spillers. Now the thriller I would put in the middle and I will go ahead and just put together a pot for you. We got in so many materials and it's so fun. I would love to be able to shop on my own like this and just be able to pick out anything that I wanted. Um, but it's really easy to put together. I don't, I'm an artist, so I don't believe that you have to have matchy matchy. I don't think that you have to have three colors and two something else and I'm much more random than that. So um, always think of that when when you're um, looking at the regular flowers in, in the landscape, they don't have any particular, you know, place for them. There's, they just um, are very random. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, a couple of the thrillers I have, this is a formium. It's uh, in the Dracaena family. These are all annuals, so they're not going to come back. But like I said, they're going to give you a good summer of color and and um, beauty. So this is a formium. This is a purple fountain grass, which is an annual grass. Everybody wants it to be per perennial, but it's not. It uh, has a purple uh, fuzzy pod on it that comes on in the summertime and it is absolutely gorgeous in containers. This is a Mexican feather grass which is very light and airy. I love the the mobility of it and the um, feather featheriness <laughs> if that's a word. This one is a canna. Cannas have a gorgeous um, bloom on it that um, lasts all summer long and it comes in oranges and yellows and even pinks um, and then you can get just regular little spikes um, or bigger spikes but these are just an example of some of the thrillers that I'm talking about but be uh, creative and use house plants. You know, a, a croton would look gorgeous in the middle of this, or um, you know, dracaenas or bird of paradise or any of those kind of things would be really pretty in as your focal point of your pot. So I'm going to use this uh, Mexican feather grass because I think it's so gorgeous. I always loosen up the the bottom so that if if you've got roots that are going around and round like this, you want to loosen them up so that they can go out and get the water that they need, and then just kind of set that there. And then I'm in, I'm ready for my fillers, which can be anything, and you have so much to choose from at the nursery. Uh, this is a gorgeous petunia that I think is just stunning. 
snare. And again, see all of those roots like that? I break those up so that you can just have a clear path to get into water. And then I stick that in there. And I am a crammer. <laughs> I really like to fill my pots up at the very beginning because um, you can always pinch them back and keep them full, but you can't fill in. So then I'm going to use another petunia on the other side of this pot. I'm going to move these over here so you can see better. Here again, get loosen up the root system and get it turned around here. People always think that I'm being mean to the plants because I don't treat them like, you know, so perfectly. But you don't have to. Plants are really hardy. Um, let's get some other color in there. Some white. This is Lobelia. And it will kind of do both filler and spiller because it does um, cascade. So yeah, this one's got a good root system, so we're going to take that apart. And stick that in there. Okay, now we're ready for our spillers. Some of my favorites are um, potato vine, um, ipamia, there's all different colors. You can get the rusty or this lime is gorgeous because it really sticks out in the pot and um, really brings focus to the pot. So that'll all grow out and, and cascade over the pot. There's another space for another cascader. Get it down in there. And that's about as big as we're going to get. I have one more space here that I'm going to stick another one in. Um, I'm going to put one of these purple salvias. It um, has a real fun spike on it, and so that'll give some more texture. I really like to get a lot of um, different levels of um, color and texture. That little guy will fill in. And did you see how I, I really loosened that up because he's he's really root down and ready to go in the pot. And we do have all of the um, things that I'm talking about here, all of these plants, as well as the pottery, the potting soil. We have um, fertilizer. I suggest using a bloom booster on your um, container pots because a bloom booster has the middle number higher, the three numbers, um, and that goes directly to the bloom. So it helps um, produce more, more flowers, which is what you want in a container pot. So this is a finished one. And 
that will be gorgeous in a week or so when it starts spilling out and uh, coming together. But the thing that I was talking about being creative, you can use, um, you could use herbs and vegetables. Um, the uh, rainbow chard is gorgeous in a pot and you can eat right out of it. Um, here's some more things that are spillers, um, little asparagus fern, vinca vines are very popular and they're nice in a hanging basket because they come all the way down. Um, like I said, this, this is, is a filler and a spiller because the lobelia will cascade. So it can fill and spill at the same time. Anything that's in the sun, um, geraniums are great because they are beautiful and they're very, very hardy and they can handle uh, Colorado sun. So um, that is always a good combination to put in together. These gazanias are a gorgeous little short thing, but we'll look at the burst of color in that. Isn't that fabulous? Just wonderful. In fact, I'm going to put one in there. See, I am a crammer. I can <laughs> get one more in there. Yeah, that, that made it perfect. <laughs> um, but, it, you know, you can use so many different things in container gardens. I, I go through the greenhouse and, and use uh, a lot of indoor plant material in the fall, then just take that plant out that you will bring in for the winter because most of these plants will not overwinter well in your house. Unfortunately, they have a plant life and so it is something that they're only going to last the summer. Um, you can bring in geraniums. I've seen a lot of people that do that and overwinter those in the house. But um, a lot of this other stuff is just going to get buggy and, and not, not do well over the winter. Um, I, <coughs> excuse me. Can't think of anything else. Any questions, please send those in. I would, can stay for a little bit and answer any questions. Um, Let me get a little water first. So. Wrap it up. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I um, am here at Fossil Creek. If you have any questions, please come in and talk to me. Um, I can help you suggest different things to put together. Another thing that we would want to uh, check is whether it's in sun or whether it's in shade because there are most of these plants here are all for sun, but there are plants like impatiens and begonias and um, lobelia does well in the shade that do well in the shade. So just know where, where you're going to put the container and then we can work out the appropriate plans for it. So thank you very much for your attention and listening today. Um, we will be back next week. We have all these classes that are, are really wonderful um, on the Fossil Creek Nursery page. So um, give us a look and if you want to call us, we would be more than happy. We also go out and do consults in case you want us to uh, come out and take a look at your particular yard and where you want to put things and if the, they will go in those places. So give us a call and we can set up an appointment and send out a consultant to talk to you. So.
thank you very much. I appreciate you and the cus good customers that we have. And I will talk to you later.